These parents produced a litter with these seven offspring, four of which were solid black coat and three spotted black coat. Assuming that this trait is controlled by a single pair of alleles in a normal Mendelian fashion. Draw a Punnett grid and try to explain this. The genotypes of these parents would have to be heterozygous. If coat color is determined by a single pair of alleles in a normal Mendelian pattern, it means that for a spotted coat offspring to be born, each parent must be able to contribute the recessive allele toward the genotype of the offspring. At the same time, we note the phenotype of each parent is solid if inheritance follows the normal Mendelian pattern. Then each parent must carry one dominant allele which accounts for their solid coat phenotype. Now we're ready to lay out the gametes in the Punnett grid. The Punnett grid is just a simple way of determining the combinations of genotypes that can arise from parents of these genotypes. With the male parent being able to produce sperm cells half of which carry the dominant allele which gives solid coat and the other half carrying the recessive allele which can give spotted coat. The same would go for the eggs of the female. Each time these mice have offspring and a sperm cell fertilizes an egg cell, these are the possible combinations. with each of these three giving rise to solid coat owing to the presence of the dominant allele and only one possible combination out of four or a 25% chance of having the spotted coat. So each time the reproductive wheel is spun, if we call it that, then there is a 25% chance that the arrow will turn up at the white quadrant. And if it turns up at the white quadrant, then that offspring is spotted. 75% of the time, though, it will turn up and give rise to a solid colored offspring. But we must bear in mind that this is based on probability. It is a model prediction, and the predictions that we get from models do not always hold true in reality, especially when samples are small. And with a sample of seven, it's not very unusual to have three spotted and four solid. It's like asking yourself, if you play a game with this wheel, and to win the game, you need to spin three whites in seven tries. Eventually you will win. And this is exactly what happened here with this litter. Another way of looking at it is thinking about a family with four children of the same gender. 